to fluoride or not to fluoride? That will be the question on the ballot in Perry Sound come election night. Jackie Boggs with the town of Perry Sound says the issue started back in 2016. We did have a fluoride delivery system in our water um, and it needed to be upgraded. So as a result of that, there were a number of concerned citizens who felt that uh, fluoride shouldn't be added to the water. Um, and council through uh, many meetings and many deliberations and many deputations uh, decided that this is something that should be put on the ballot for the upcoming municipal election. So it's up to the uh, citizens of Perry Sound to decide if they want fluoride in their water or not. So what happens when the decision is made? Boggs talks about the process. This falls under the Fluoridation Act um, and there's a specific question that you have to ask. Um, and so we've utilized that question. We've got it on our ballots, our telephone and internet ballots. Um, and if the majority of people in town want it removed, then it will be, it will stay out of the water. Currently it's not in the water at the moment. Um, if the majority of people uh, want to leave it in, then council will uh, rectify that and put in the new delivery system and it'll probably be in the 2019 budget, I would assume. Getting out to vote is always important, but it will be particularly crucial for residents in Perry Sound to get out on October 22nd to cast their ballot. I think uh, generally Perry Sound has a relatively good turnout uh, when you compare it to other, pro other municipalities across the province. Um, so hopefully we'll have more people show up because they've got, we've got this question and, and it's something that everyone can decide and uh, we're hoping that'll bring out more of the vote as well. So there are no paper ballots, it's all telephone and electronic voting. Um, our residents will be receiving their voter information kits fairly shortly. They've all been mailed out. Um, and you can pick up the phone and, and uh, vote anywhere in the world or you can go online anywhere in the world and vote. Um, so that just allows, it allows more accessibility and uh, allows for a better turnout, I think.